Remember what I was telling you yesterday about the Sunny 16 rule? This is it. Well, the Sunny 16 rule is when you do not bring a subject in the sun. We have this amazing model for my demonstration today of adding flash to natural light. It's very windy out here, so I'm gonna do a voiceover shortly, but I'm gonna give you some behind the scenes with the uh, Canon G7X Mark II. Introducing our model for the day. So here's what I did. Today is all about using flash outdoors in bright sunlight. You know that sunny 16 rule? It's actually the worst time of day to be outside. However, I'm gonna show you how I used the flash and underexposed the background and gave you some cool different ways of looking at what you can do outside with the flash. Now, say you wanted the background to be much darker. You want to make it more dramatic on your subject matter. Well, if your flash output is stronger than what your f-stop is at, all you have to do is change your f-stop or you can change your shutter to be to expose for that bright flash. So when you expose to that bright flash, the background goes darker. Pretty cool, huh? And this is hard to wrap your head around. The sunlight is doing the sunlight is doing this. Okay? Your normal flash is the same as same as the sun. I know, I know this looks stupid, but trust me on this. When you raise your flash power, look at much more than the sun. When you expose for this guy, when you bring it down, they have to come down together, right? Boom, sunlight comes down. Your exposure looks normal because you're exposing for the brighter flash, not the sun behind them. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> so when you expose for the brighter flash exposure, when you expose for it, when I bump that flash up to a quarter power, if I didn't change any settings on the camera, it would just be a blown out flash look on the side. But if I match the exposure to the flash output, Mr. Teddy Bear will look normal, but the entire scene comes down, not just your flash area, obviously, your entire scene comes down. Therefore, we call that underexposing your background and exposing for your subject matter correctly using flash. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see how this look with flash is extremely different than not using any flash at all. Waiting for that golden hour, waiting for the good light, bringing your subjects into the shaded area. Just make sure that the background is also matching your foreground. That's how you shoot in natural light. Um, you don't need to be in shade with the client and you get this big, hot, blown out background. That looks absolutely terrible. However, if you add flash that matches or exceeds the light behind you, everything comes together more evenly. That's how you use flash outside. So look, tomorrow, the last lighting series of this week, tomorrow we're talking about color. And what I mean by that, you're sitting there going, how does that affect anything? I'm so confused. Because when you're in the shadow areas, your color is a lot cooler. So you need to compensate for that. When you're indoors and that tungsten lighting is yellow, see how this is yellow? You need to compensate that. I'm going to show you how tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, my name is George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans, and this is Focused with GK, where I help you stay focused on your dreams, no matter what that is. You got to start, you got to do it, you got to practice, you got to practice, you got to practice, you got to practice, <laughs> and then you got to go do it again. And you keep doing it until you get awesome. You know what I mean? So one last time, this is to be continued, you guys. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.